Hello everybody, Jet here and welcome to, oh, well, welcome to Free Kingdoms Total War when I'm first getting to play this, guys. Uh, please shout out if the volume and everything's not great. I am, um, literally I've just had five minutes to set this up, so please by all means let me know how it's going. As you can probably tell, I've got a little mascot from my daughter uh, to help me out, Pavati the panda here, who is going to be helping me out. Let's just check, I'm actually holding her up on camera. So yeah, Pavati the panda who is here to help me out. So I'll put her to the side for now, but she may be making appearances throughout the stream if she doesn't fall off where I've popped her. Um, and I'm on webcam in my shiny new study, guys. So uh, shout out if you are watching, guys, please, so I know that I'm not all on my own. Anyway, without further ado, we are going to be playing as... Oh, no, hang slow. As a whole. We are for going to be going child, playing as... There can be no compromise. Playing China as Gongdu over here. Not its um, Who is it meant to have the easiest start? But I'm not quite does not sure. I believe it. So. In the yellow turban cause, yet he views victory through a more practical lens. Maybe we should have listened to what they were telling us. But you know, these things are are these things. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, we're going to jump in. I'm not going to be playing on romance. I am going to be playing on. Uh, Record modes for this one. My uh, next playthrough will be as the Bandit Queen will be in um, will be in records mode. Oh bloody hell! Remind me to turn my alarms off. I'd usually only just be getting up now. Right. So anyway, let's start. China must be purified. Oh, let's go through this. So and we've got better movement range, uh, increased loot for battles. Playstyle is raiding and looting. We get guerrilla warfare uh, as a unique feature. Liberate. And uh, we get the uh, Guardians of the Land straight away. Our noteworthy character is Kang Ze. Oh, Zhang Ke. I apologise. I will pronounce everything terribly, guys. Okay, anyway, let's jump in. Embers rise. Stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns. Chaos ignites as the power of the Unix is crushed. In the pyre, the hand falters. As the old ways, the corrupt ways die. A new flag is raised. Gondu sees the people suffer. The time to rise up is now. China is in turmoil. What difficulty was the I on? The great empire of the Han, stretching back ages beyond counting, is being devoured by corruption. The yellow turbans, thousands strong, began raising their banners in rebellion and seizing commanderies across the realm. In response, Generals loyal to the Emperor rose up and put down the rebellion. Yet despite the victory, the chaos... Lo Yang burns, my lord, crumbling beneath Dong Zhuo's fist. And what a sight it is. The beginning of the end of the Han. It was the work of the tyrant. The coalition has risen to oppose him. Troubling, certainly. But as the hand rips itself apart, I sense our opportunity. They have not forgotten you, my lord. Nor should they. Our adversaries are many. But our resolve is unflinching. This war shall be won by our might. We must consolidate if we are to survive. The South and West may provide useful strongholds. They will all know our strength in time, once we have prepared. Then we shall not be stopped. The time to tear down the old dynasty approaches Gondu. Raise the yellow banner and ride to war. Okay, so, 
this is for start guys at Chortles, welcome and thank you for watching. Uh, please let me know how the audio is because I've, I've literally had five minutes to set this up because I wanted to get going because I'm a little bit excited. So um, yeah, anyway, so establish your power, Gong Du, as the hand begins to destroy itself, your opportunity has finally come. The Empire still has power and we are few. We must gather our strength before striking to the west and south our... Um, to the west and south are lands we could use to consolidate. But be wary to not let the Empire overwhelm you. When you are ready, there will be none who can stop you. Stop our righteous attack. The Yellow Banner of War rises. So we can annex Yellow Turban regions, so that's nice. Um, we can, but we need to be wary of Mengta and Zeng, Zenglu. Zenglu. Okay. We've... Uh, and the yellow mission, we've got a mission here, so while the situation is dire, we may still snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Our soldiers have nothing to lose. Um, so engage the enemy army. Left click to select them and attack them. Study for reform about, so to, to study a reform, click on the reforms tab. Oh yeah, because unlike the other ones, this is very like the old one. Where you've got to constantly be doing it. Um, so we've got these. Ambition is not to match the great deeds of the past, but to build upon them. Reforms create fresh practices. So reforms are not like the techs everybody else have, which you get every so often, and you 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 actually have to get these, and you get them over time. I'm going to close this. We're going to do the battle first because that's fun. And yeah, we need to beat Typhon. The mightiest trees. This is one of your armies, used to attack enemy armies, conquer settlements, and defend your own territories. Guide them well, and China. I, I may need to tell her to be off a little bit more. Now I'm running this in ultra settings. Hopefully my PC will cope. Uh, it did recommend that, so we'll see. Let's go fight Typhon. For China, we have engaged the enemy in battle. And we have to fight this as it's the first battle, guys. So obviously we've got myself and and um, my ally. Oh, I can't look at what units are. We'll have to have a look to work out what all the units are, are guys. So see how this goes. Hopefully I'm not going to get myself wiped out straight away. There is a distinct possibility I will die very early in this campaign. Because this is meant to be a very hard campaign, guys. So um, we're going to play it carefully. So we are... Uh, medium spear, turban spearmen, um, so they're good melee toughness, uh, which is good. Um, so we've got lots of spears, we've got some horseback archers, lots of horse archers, and some bog standard horsemen. This is a fairly bog standard army, so... Oh yeah, this I love. So... The formations automatically form as you do things. So, like, I just want to have a bog standard formation here. That's actually really easy for us to do. Oh, we've got the Guardians of the Land. I missed that. Who are heavy infantry. Let's compare them. So, they're actually not as tough in melee, but they've got more melee power. So, anyway, let's go. My general behind, everybody moving forwards. Let's actually pull all of my archers out and put them off to the side. While everybody else can move forwards into here. Basically, if they're going to sit in this formation, I'm just going to advance on them. We're going to pepper them with my archers. We'll, we'll engage them with my infantry and my generals will wrap around their sides. Okay, they, they definitely have a lot more archers in their units than we do. So uh, I might want to be a bit careful here, actually. We're going to pull back for now. Until the others are engaged. Oh, 
Okay, there you go. So we, we didn't do well off that initial exchange. We're going to move my infantry forwards now. Let's have a look how many. Yeah, we've got 45, 45, 46 for my generals. Um, oh, we're only getting 46 on extreme. I am on extreme. I might only be on ultra, not extreme, actually. Thinking about it. Uh, anyway, this is something we can look at afterwards. If I am, I am. That's something I can sort later. My PC may not accept extreme, so. Right, now let's get back in and start shooting. You guys can move out to the sides. There we go, we're starting to be engaged. Let's start shooting the general. Yeah, I'm definitely on ultra not large, or it definitely said ultra to me. If I'm on large, I'm on large. So long as it actually works better. I do. I'm not going to use them just now because obviously we'd be shooting our own guys a bit. We can start shooting these guys. Okay, so we're nicely engaged here. The enemy, the enemy general is running away. Oh, their their archers are all beginning to run. You guys can hammer into the back here. There we go. I think we got this. We're chasing off the general. These guys are all folding in here. Victory is ours. I do like the way you can do a rematch straight away, but I'm not going to do that. So that was a nice, easy first battle for us, guys. Um, as I said, I thought it was on ultra unit size. Um, I'm just going to check that. I'm also just going to move my webcam because it's not in the best place at the moment, is it? Justice Victory cannot be is denied. yours. And the fate of those who okay. have captured in battle must be decided. You may bolster your ranks with the remaining enemy soldiers or kill them to prevent them returning to fight you again. I don't really need the um, supplies, but I could ransom back or I, could... I don't have an option to kill them. <laughs> um, get the replenishment. Replenishment's going to be very useful actually, because we did take some losses. Towards peace. That's it, so we get the uh, ancillary for the pole, uh, pole mace. There we go. We've got a new mission. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, so maintain a total of one unit of the following type, yellow turban, spearman, captain. And occupy a settlement. Honor your ideals. And it's telling me how to equip this now. So. Those that serve your cause gain experience over time. Encourage this growth and guide their development to your advantage. So he's leveled up now. It's giving me all the information, so if I hover over any of these, if you click this, it gives you this. Right, let's go back to the start there. So, oh, no, 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 stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Bugger. No matter how devoted your Well, I guess we're going are, this way. <laughs> rest is needed between marches. Um, so basically, this guy needs to level up. I can go in through here or click on, or yeah, can go in through here. So click on details. And he's leveled up, so I can select an ability for him. I can also change his weapon if I wanted to. I could give him that pole mace, but he's already got a uh, really nice weapon, so I don't see why I would want to do that. Um, 
but we do need to level him up. So what's this one? Um, makes him more defense, increases the armor of his retinue. That's the units under his command. Um, extra instinct and extra morale in own territory. Um, where can I actually go? Can I select any of them? I can, yeah, yeah, I can start at the bottom or up here. Are these locked ones ones I've already got then? Ah, or uh, extra resolve. Da, 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 da. Movement range is going to be very useful early on for us. I've done that before I accidentally moved. Yeah. Right, let's just check this. Ah, uh, quality ultra. Uh, da, 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 da. Unit detail ultra. Um, where is unit size? I'm on normal. I don't actually want to be on normal. I want to be on hard. Let's make it a bit tougher for myself. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I must have not. I must. We'll know for next time. So for my next uh, playthrough, we will be changing those unit sizes up. Um, I guess we're heading here now because I accidentally headed there. Let's have a look. Where's in this commandry? A commandry consists of a capital and its surrounding counties. Okay, we know. The capital. So, for here, for Gong... It's called Gongdu? No, it's Wudu. Uh, that belongs to the Yellow Turban Rebe Rebellion. That belongs to Mateng. And we've got the Copper Mine, which is what we currently hold. Um, can I see where they are easily? Yeah. So we're accidentally invading another commentary here. With, I'm, I don't actually want Auto to be doing that. So we are going to gold. force march our way back. Um, uh, I should have captured here because I can annex here. Uh, misclicks are fun. And let's upgrade our copper mine, which will get us more income. Uh, yeah, more income. So we're going to upgrade that. There we go. And we need to get our tech going as well. By all means, shout out if you think I'm doing things wrong. Let's have a quick look. And looks recruitment of spears. So heavy spear and art. Horse archers. I'm not a huge fan of horse archers. Reduces construction guard plus 10% movement range. That's always useful. What's this one? Uh, it's not bad. Obviously, we already have this one. Light sword. I don't really want to be going down the light tree too much. Uh, Sounds daft. Movement range is always good. What do you think? Uh, we're going to go for those to get us some more units to start with, however. There we go. Now, how do I recruit someone extra? I forget. <laughs> um, can I recruit in my own territory? Oh, let's make sure we've equipped some of those ancillaries. So, uh, extra cunning, extra trade influence. Yep. Yeah. And we don't have any accessories. And let's make sure we get the other one for him. So, extra authority, extra chance to uncover enemy spies. Okay, now we can't trade with anybody, guys, because we are yellow turbans. But we can trade with the other yellow turbans. So, let's have a look. Um, Enter free. Diplomacy right. Go away. More tools to help so we can trade with these guys. Um, not what I'm going to yet, but just so you're aware, we can trade to and speak to the other yellow turbans. Ben, ah, recruit. Not, break. not able to recruit units until next turn. That's when we'll have to recruit the general and recruit ourselves some more units. I really did derp a bit there by uh, not doing that straight away. Sorry, I know I just moved my webcam. Um, Your faction not only consists of settlements and armies, 
but your policies, reforms, and family affairs all contribute to your rule and deserve consideration. So that's telling us there's other things we can do, so like our armies here, but we've also got our character screen. Where is our... Um... There you go, that's everything which has happened to us. Well, we'll go into the other things as we go on because we don't have access to most things at the moment. So yeah, they're my court. My court is very a limited. Must be skilled in oh, I wish she'd, she'd go away. Uh, it's really annoying. I need to turn 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 my uh, thing off. Uh, so yeah, obviously my court, we unlock my court as we go on things. I do apologize if you can hear the dustbin man outside. Right. Your armies are composed of generals and their retinues. A retinue is made up of up to six units. And once a general is recruited, these loyal followers will follow them into battle. Uh, anyway, let's move up into my own territory again. Hopefully we'll be able to recruit. There we go. A newly recruited unit will report for duty immediately, but will continue to muster for some time before reaching full capacity. So that is another, well, it's not a new thing, it's a thing from, um, well, let's move that. Sorry, I'm trying to position my webcam properly. Um, so that's another new thing, guys. When you recruit units, they are not fully recruited, um, which is good. We do have a mission to recruit a yellow turban spear captain, I believe. Let's just double check. Um, yeah, we've got one to study that a reform. Yeah, spear captain gets us extra experience for Gong Du and some extra money in our treasury. Um, expand. So occupy or capture a settlement. We're going to go up to this. Oh, that Matang has already taken it. Oh, bloody hell! I need to be a little careful of that. Check that your army is well stocked with supplies before they embark on a long march or enter enemy territory. If they run out, you're- Okay, go away. I can't, why can't I? I can't quite afford him. Oh, that is annoying. Um, right, we are going to pull back just a little. Um, a bit worried about Mateng being there. We may have messed this campaign up already. <laughs> oh well. I hope you enjoy watching me get murdered, Chortles. Oh, actually, no, this is saying it's slightly good. Um, I could retreat. It's predicting a valiant defeat, guys. I could have properly messed up here by going straight at them. We'll fight this. Now I've put it up to hard, this is also going to be a hard battle. This is all going to come down to use of my cavalry. We've got that river, which will be useful. So potentially using that, we're definitely going to be using our flaming arrows. So here goes nothing. Wish me luck, guys. Um... What's the negative of being in water? Just reduces the speed. So actually using this river is also going to be useful. And we could potentially set fire to all the trees around it as they come through, which would be really bad for their morale too. See, this slows. Yeah, infantry and cavalry. So no, we're not going to do that. We are going to form over here. And we're going to push forwards with my uh, archer cav straight away on fire arrows to try and pester them. forwards fast to try and set fire to everything. Ready. 
set fire to the forest were forbidden. That would be really beneficial for morale, but it's raining, so that's unlikely. So archers aren't good versus armoured units, but... But it does lower their morale. They are already in skirmish mode, which is good for us. We're not really doing much damage to them, to be fair. Shoot. Right, let's start hitting their archers a bit there. In fact, no, let's Watch hit Mateng himself. Oh, wow. Oh, no, that's lies in wait for us. I thought it was saying they were retreating already. It was like, what? That's um, not unexpected. Right, let's get all my cav over there, because their cav are coming in this way. Go! Get my cavalry secure, please. Mateng there, please. You guys can move back. You can set fire to a tree, which is useful for us. We're going to have problems here. That is what I'm a bit worried about. You guys can actually melee charge them, please, to break them out. We're not doing well here. Let's pull you out as well. We'll leave Gongdu in there. Uh, Mateng is suffering. Okay, we need to hold this line. If we can take these guys out so I can start shooting at them from behind, that'll be very useful. God damn it. Pang D is chasing us. This battle is not going well, guys. That cav is about to get around the back of us, which is not good. I'm going to need to pull one of these guys out. The issue we have here is we are much lighter than them all. Our men are running. The oh, damn! Guys. Well, this is a setback. Straight into the back of them, please. Pull out here, we need support here. I need to be able to get into the back of these guys to support my cav. Right, you guys can move down and start shooting. You can get you can help down here, please. Let's turn this off. God damn! Come on! I mean, they did say a valiant defeat, so even if we lose, we won't necessarily completely lose, but it's going to be tricky. Um, like I said, by I, misclick early in the campaign has killed me. Gongdu is doing really nicely. Let's go and support there. You guys can pull out and then you can charge in over here again. If I can break that unit, that'll help. You're actually struggling there, but we've closed up their archers, which is what I wanted. You can start supporting here a bit again. Oh, yeah, I... It is rough. Um... Gongdu is struggling now. Slam into them, please. Oh, my other general is running now. We are burning through them slowly, but... This is gonna be a rough one here. My guys fight. My undisciplined mob. And this is, this is the downside, guys. We are not as disciplined and not as heavy as them. Um, we are breaking them, though. It, trapping their archers has done really well, but it's also meant I've not got my archers. God damn it. Get in there. 
We are. Ah, oh, and he's running now. But if I can kill Mateng, that'll really help. Can I break these guys out to hit Mateng? I know I'm leaving their archers shooting, but I want to get Mateng. We're going to go back onto normal fire for Mateng. Because uh, he's armoured, so I assume he's armoured anyway. My infantry is disappearing very quickly. Ah, oh, they're going to break now I've disengaged them. Yeah, charge in. This this is going to be a defeat, guys. I should have retreated. Uh, rather than face off against Mate so early. Um, this might have finished the campaign quite quickly. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. No, these guys need to be involved. Need to be in melee here to keep them safe. No, we did reason, you know, you know we, we, we're doing, if we'd had slightly more troops, if I'd been able to get that other stack out, we'd have probably managed this. And this isn't great here either. Uh, yeah. I am going to attempt to withdraw here. Save what we still have. Um, try and get my general out. Come on, run away. Run away. That's it. Hopefully. Oh, God damn it. Run. No. I think he died, guys. Um, valiant defeat, so it was. We, to be fair, I mean, you can't see it at the moment. Let's move that there. Um, we actually, oh, I moved it. We probably got nearly as many kills as them. So even if we've lost, we've not Your lost. Your forces Persevere have met with defeat. defeat. Gather the survivors, rebuild your strength, and take the fight back to the enemy. So actually, we lost 361. They lost four. So, so... I'm actually happy to accept that loss. They're not going to come straight back at me. And actually, they came out of that battle much worse than I do. Oh, God. No two battles are the same. Remain flexible and consider which tactics and units are best suited to each battle. Right, we need to move up here and actually recruit. We're also oh. in winter. I need to get back to friendly terrain. Right. That'll help. So, while we lost, guys, that is one of the nice things. We lost, but Ready it wasn't yourself. a terrible loss. Who holds this? Zhang Li. I want to go for... Where? These were the other Yellow Turban Rebels I could have gone and taken. So, um... So I'd like to try and Buildings get more control of Wudu, but of that's going faction. to be tricky. We need to build Making up a bit first. Go away. Um... Reject corruption. We're zerging just to try and stay out of Matang's range there. I think we are still in this range. Resist corruption and endure mm. hardship. Don't want to be spending a fortune. Yes, the spear captain fulfilled the mission, which gave me some more money to do some more recruitment with. Oh, these guys, men of the forest. They are really interesting. They're very glass cannony, but they are ranged and melee, so they're quite cool, though I don't want to be wasting too much money on them. I think light spear for the moment and some archers. He's a veteran. Most of my guys are veterans. What are veterans? My Lord. I'm trying to remember. Um, I think veterans are the all-rounders, aren't uh, all-rounders? I'll, I'll double check that and let you know properly, guys. Um, we get some more archers as well, and some more light spear there. 
just upping our VMAP spears. We've got just basically getting us more troops. A land without people is bereft. Hang on, spirits. is that a bug? Marching. I seem to have managed to double move there somehow. Yes, I'm, I'm definitely upgrading uh, upgrading already, Chortle. Um, I don't know how, I managed to double move there. I'm not complaining at the moment because it saves my life. <laughs> we are definitely doing very well due to a bug there. I must be Pavati helping me there. There are many intricacies oh, to my. ruling. And a wise leader seeks counsel rather than allow pride to lead them into ignorance. So new blood comes to our faction. Um... To lead on Liu Zhang. Okay. Uh, mission success. Uh, powerful. Ah, so it completes at the end. So we got some extra cash there. Um, the yellow turbans grow even stronger. Recruit and maintain an army. That gets us even more money. So that works quite well for us. Uh, we need a bit of time to replenish, however. Um, at ease. Home gladdens the heart. Tempted to try and swap one of these out for something better, but all your better things are quite expensive to run. Who are these guys? Not you again. Did, did not just say he was. I'm confused. Um, see, I I don't have options. I can only go to war with people, guys. So yeah. Um. I'd like to push back M Mateng if I can, but I'm not in any massive rush. We do have an extra character here if we wanted to raise another army, but I'm not going to be doing that just yet. And obviously we've got my army, which I can still do stuff with, though right now I need to replenish for a couple of turns. This is putting me back massively, actually, though. Because at this point, what I don't want to be doing is sitting on the my laurels. The type of terrain your army crosses will affect the speed of their movements and their supply chain. Plan your routes carefully to avoid unnecessary... So, supplies are affected by the terrain, which is good to know. Okay, and we've gained that. Reach the rank of balanced... Uh, is our next mission, guys. Now, this is a useful thing, because if we get to balance... Oh, and we've got that one. Nice. And we've developed our reform. Let's get the extra movement range next, I think. Um, any actual just buff us. That's not bad. I assume population growth gets me extra tax. Uh, yeah, let's get that for the extra movement range and the enlightenment. I'm not entirely sure what enlightenment does for us, but, you know. Uh, it'll be doing something for us. So we're, we're building up again before we push, push forth again. Um, We've got a reasonable income, but I do want to get myself a bit of a buffer, so I'm tempted to push out another army, actually. Sprout ever up. The number of buildings you can construct in a settlement is dependent on its size. Expand your commandery capitals to make room for additional buildings. Okay, so there we go. So we can build more buildings as we grow if we get bigger settlements. Um, again... A person's destiny is revealed by the traits that emerge mm. over the course of their life. See? These will be embodied as strengths and weaknesses that shape their action. Yeah. Makes sense. As as they grow, they get more things. Uh, he's not very happy, actually. Let's have a look at him. Why are you not happy? Uh... Lack of purpose. So I could give him a uh, army to command. And what, oh, we're not doing something there. Let's. No, for now. Right. We should be having an assignment. 
Oh, you've got to own the capital. Okay, these guys are going to get given an army then. Uh, you can be given the ancillary then. Um, give you more satisfaction, more public order. And then we can raise an, a secondary army here to give us a bit more troops. Because I think that's 210 for the whole army. We'll find out. Never yes. Yield. Your generals and their retinues gain experience in battle. Increasing their effectiveness. You must balance... Infantry can't afford are the to recruit him at the moment. That's giving us a bit more, and we can use the him to explore a little bit next turn, just to keep an eye on what's walls. going on around us. And this is held by Hensui Bissol Matang. Um, this is a tough old start. I'm going to give it that. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're not doing great here, actually, guys, but we're doing well enough. So. We're going to keep at this. I return. How fair. Your armies take different stances for different purposes. Forced marchers will yes, quicken an army's he's abandoned case, that. And a fortified stance will put them in a defensive position. The season dries and contracts. Oh, that God. Ready to upon bloom you. again. Consider the size and types of units in each army as well as who the attacker and the defender is in order to develop a winning strategy. I mean, I have no choice here. We are going to get our butts kicked, guys. We don't... No. If With an ambush, they're not quite strong, the same. I don't necessarily have to fight. Ours. I can just try and get through to the escape point. Which is uh, what it might be the best idea for me to do here is rather than try and fight is just to blitz through. Um, they snuck into my territory to ambush you me. God damn. You must reach the extraction point if you are to have any chance of evacuating your right. forces. Oh god. Fire arrows. Ah, oh, who has fire arrows? Do you guys have fire arrows? Fire arrows will be beautiful here if we can set fire to lots. You guys are charging up there. Why did I move so early? Oh, that was foolish. Okay. This is going to be more Watch than out. rough, guys. Oh no, don't charge into those spears. Setting fire to some of the trees, that'll help us. Get your butts over there, please. Shoot Matang. Get your butt over here into the main fight. Our men are running, the spineless cowards. Ready, bolt. Destroy them. I want to hold them there. I actually want to pull some units back up here into this. Let's charge. You guys can start moving up. Oh, let's take them out, actually, if I can. Oh, this is not going well. Right. Run! <laughs> I should have just sent a few units to the side while we moved most of my units run. over. Um, these guys at the back are dead no matter what I do. Get your butt here please, I don't want to be losing my generals. Not and ready. 
Stand ready. Archers, attack. Faster. Bowmen, move. Our men flee the battlefield. Take heed, warriors. At the ready. Move back. Cavalry to attention. Let's just try and have everybody forcing through. I know this isn't the best thing, but... This isn't the best way, but we're, we're going to try and get as much as we can out of here. We are... We're dead. I've lost this. This campaign is probably going to go badly very quickly. I should have just kept moving through. We are being pushed back! I should have sent a few units to the side to slow them and just kept marching my troops. To attention! Ready yourselves! Warriors, hold! Go on, withdraw, please. Ready. Come on, can you get your butt? You need to get out. Our warriors run! Craven dogs! Yep, we have a visitor to watch me losing. Terribly. Say hello. Say hello, Sam. That's my son and my wife holding him. <laughs> oh, you can stay for a minute. Okay. He might play better than me. This is over. No, don't run away that way. I need him to come back before he runs off or he will die. Sam. <laughs> Uh, I, I should have used the rematch there. That was terrible, guys. We got our butts kicked. Um. <laughs> I was like, he, he might play better than I am at the moment, Chortles. I have failed. Uh, the people. We are not in a good situation here. My other army is on the other side. No, oh, they, they released him. Remain supple. <laughs> Ready yourself. Get our butts into that settlement. Poise to strike. Ready yourselves. I mean, <laughs> on the march towards victory. We're going to go for their settlement, if I can, uh, behind them. I'm not sure how much of a garrison it will have, but we'll find out, I guess. Hi. No, Sam, stop trying Battle to play. Is upon us. Yeah. But, the enemy army but at least we're pulling Mateng away from us, so uh, that's not necessarily a really bad thing. The war for China's spirit will require heroic generals to lead the charge and inspire others with their deeds. So Han Su is no longer allied with Mateng. To support your armies, or s no, friends stick together. Gongdu and Kang Zhangke are more friendly. And strike out. Uh. At ease, strike as one. Your warriors prepare uh. for battle. But there are still other options. I thought so. They've got far Encircling more. Encircling the enemy and starving them out. Maybe just no, as fine. effective. Still oh, well, we back. found him. Oh, I think he's dead. Don't you, Sam? Gather your strength. <laughs> oh, God. Resume standard positions. I return. How fair the people. We're going to spend some turns replenishing these guys. You guys are dead. I'm sorry. Right. What do we want? Post battle income. Melee armor piercing for own retinue. Ranged armor piercing. That's good. What else can we get? Uh, extra fire rate. Buffs to his retinue are probably the best. 
income from industry is not bad either. Or oh, 25% general bodyguard size. That's going to be probably the most useful one to have, isn't it, boy? Okay, he agrees. I, I suspect this guy is dead while we're rebuilding, so that's fine. Just keeping them off us for a while. We are not having a good start here. Retreat! Withdraw to strike later. Oh, I thought we'd managed to get out then. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not even going to bother, guys. There's no point in me fighting that because we will die horribly no matter what we do. Uh, God damn. Well, we don't have to worry about him not being happy anymore. Got a feeling Gongdu is going to press his advance here. Um, which one is the capital? Buildings can grant local as well as global improvements. Public order, population. Yeah, it is Wudu, so Wudu is the capital. Can all be sprout ever upwards to heaven. Bring news of what Ah, boy, stop it, please. You might have to go back soon. Oh. Generals in disharmony, so they don't all like each other. Um, a bit confused by that. We'll have a proper look in a minute. Um, I'm just going to end turn, guys, again. We are having a rough start here. I should have gone and captured here right at the start when it was held by the Yellow Turpins, and that was a mistake um, there. So we've not done well at all. We... <laughs> And we've got another thing, so we need to go for another one. Let's start working our way down this tree to unlock the things. So we'll go for this one for the enlightenment income from looting and post battle income. We have to win battles to get post battle income, however, but you know. Oh, Chortles, can you still see my stream? Because I'm getting a notification that it's uh, having issues. Um. So please let me know if you can still see it. I might have to do a little AFK in a second, guys. So uh China can yeah. boast some of the finest roads in the world. The best routes are through central oh. China. More people declaring war. And travelling along them will hasten your movement. Okay, so we've got an event. Act of worship. The Tipa Jing teaches us us the world is in perpetual chaos. Balance can only be found in cultivating the inner Tao. Under the gaze of heaven, incense is burned, sermons sung, and music played. Those around are filled with vigour and belief um, in the cause. You look to lead them in worship. It's weird, it, it chortles. It told me it w wasn't working, so weird. So, inspiring extra morale, that's good. Extra public order, we don't need that. Extra food... I'm going to take the morale buff for my own army for now. Um, I return. Yeah, we, 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 we just need to wait a few turns before we do anything, guys. I'm also going to uh, get into position where I can upgrade my gold mine again. So, uh, do apologise. It's going to be a bit of click, click, click at the moment. Is that right, Sam? Hey, do you want a panda to play with? Don't tell your sister. Fire she'll be in a oh. brightly and indiscriminately. But no flame can last forever. Starved of air, it chokes, it splutters, and is then extinguished. The tyrant is dead. Yet in the ashen darkness, the avaricious prowl. So Dongzo is dead. Oh, um, so it's tapping, j typing Jing. Okay, I'll remember that. Uh, so Dongzo is succeeded by Dongming, but that means that ah, oh, that means the center of China is ripe for conquest long run. Um, that also means Lu Bu is probably completely separate now, guys, which is quite nice to know. Um, okay. Right, I am going to take at least another turn's worth of replenishment because we are still quite low and I don't want to be pushing out yet. And also level here up. 
which will up my income. So we're turtling a little bit at the moment, guys. Uh, but it is tough at the moment. Um, I'm very tempted to swap out a unit for another, but um, we'll see how this goes. Is that unit, like, full? Or Yeah, that is full. So we're getting there. We're in a much better situation than we were. I may pop another army again, just to uh, use as my scouts. Yeah. Hopefully to try and find the ambush this time. Is that a good idea, Sam? Titles are being left vacant, while suitable candidates are awaiting promotion. Really? I didn't think I had any uh, court. Or have I unlocked stuff at court now? Um, I'm a bit confused. Anyway, guys, I will be back in a moment because I need to go deal with a little boy. So I will be right back. I will edit this out of the final one because I can cut stuff out. So back in a couple of minutes. <clears throat> <clears throat> or 30 seconds as my wife was outside listening <laughs> okay so we uh, so we still need to get to healed we've actually dropped when we get to healed guys we can actually start um, trading, we can actually um, engage in diplomacy with other factions, I believe. So we still need to get there. I think that mission was actually failed. Yeah. Uh, mission success. No, oh, reach balanced. What? Why do I actually see my faction rank up here? And faction summaries. We're balanced uh, rather than devoted. Uh, da, 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 what does that do? Uh, unlocks diplomatic to increase regular factions. That's good though, so that still helps us. Cultivate nice, we Managing are getting there. Managing a commandery means ensuring there is enough income, food and reserves. That public order is stable and that your population is growing. Okay, yep, I can't do much about it at the moment though, so please stop stop, me stop telling me I need to push down here to that silk trader. Uh, and then we can start building ourselves up. Um, corruption and endure hardships. Bring news of what occurred in my absence. Uh, I can't recruit any captains at the moment, annoyingly. I can't really afford to recruit most of these guys. Um, Let's recruit with this loyal person to try and make him a bit more useful. To the rear of the battle. Welcome, my lord. Artillery can re and we're just going to keep him on his own. He is just going to be scammed. Not basically. I'm using him because although he's disloyal, I don't particularly mind losing him. Um, right. Ooh, food is useful. This unlocks... Watchman of Peace, which is... What is that a mixed? All-rounder. Good in melee, heavy missile attacks. Um, more buildings, which we don't really need need yet. Uh, oh, it unlocks ev Oh, that's nice. I didn't realise it would unlock everything. I thought it would just unlock the one tree. That is useful. Um... And lots of buildings and things, which we will start doing later. But for now, I'm going to go for the units again. Uh, though these are inevitably going to take longer to recruit. Um, Anti-missile cavalry. Actually, I'm going to get them. Get myself some more troops. Okay. This will prove our faith is the way. They want us to make a regular payment of 108 uh, and give them something. How about no? Favor onwards, regardless. Yeah, I'm definitely not paying them for the uh, for the ability to be at peace with them because, yeah, just no. We 
How are we doing? One more turn and we're at full strength. Um, let's recruit some more guys for this guy. Let's actually get him... made happier. I can increase his pay, can't I? Or can I not with these guys? Why is he not happy? Lack of purpose. Um, and he is dropping at the moment, so I don't really want to be giving him too much. I am at your disposal, my lord. Marching outwards and on toward glory. I return. How fair right. This is still not a particularly heavy army, so I want to be careful. But I can potentially, you know, what you can also do, guys, is you can split off retinues. So I can have a retinue in here and I can split it off into another in army diplomacy. if needs to be. Is to know who you are dealing with. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't want all these chats. So the fall of the tyrant's emperor, Dongmin, has died. Uh, oh, so two of the former generals, Grisi and Liu have rebelled. Oh, wow. So the centre of the map. If I'd managed to expand, I'd be able to push up here really easily at the moment, potentially. But then again, if I'd managed to expand that way, things would have probably been different. The mightiest tree survives on its roots. Embarking. China is people. Right, let's go. Not its oppressive war. If a battle looks like it will fall in your favor. We finally expanded, Our guys. Oh my god. Fallen. And now those that cower inside await judgment. You may occupy or sack the settlement, among other options. Each will leave it in a different So I, I'm just gonna occupy guys because we want the extra. We want time, we need to expand. They will thank us so um, Honor your ideals. On the march. And what type Resist of settlement is this? Gaining full control of the commandery means you have all the resources within its counties. Plus the income from its population and the capital's districts. And now we can send people on assignments. Uh, assignments get me things. So development planning or food. So reduces construction site time or increases food food production. Is They're both useful to be fair. Reducing construction costs. And 75% income from commerce silk and spice i don't know how much of my income is from that from the roots to no. heaven <laughs> so let's not bother with that let's get the extra food okay that also keeps the people involved and doing things so oh matang now holds there as well um that silk trader is the only other thing we need. Now, I wish I could actually speak Not to them. It takes work and investment uh, but to we have no diplomatic they... standing ah. with factions. Start with a non-aggression pact to gain trust. Then... I'm sure Eclipse have played Total War before, so... Yeah, they wouldn't accept that. Um, I don't think. Why is it plus there and negative there? So that's giving it a negative 12. No, I think they would accept that. Um, but I don't necessarily want to offer it yet if they would accept that. For where else people. is in this place? So where is this one? So Wudu. That's not Wudu. So that's Wudu. Oh, these are buildings in the capital. So that's the only one. That's Silk Trader. And if I can get that Silk Trader, we will offer peace. Um, Destroy corruption. Let us Mounted recruit something else. Are These guys. Effective in battle. They are especially useful to. Uh, some heavy spear infantry for reclaimers there. I like them in my main army. Can I swap units between armies? China is <sighs> people, not its oppressive warlords. No, I can swap retinues about, so, um...
Which does make tweaking retinues. It's nice, because when you dis if I dismiss somebody, their retinue is still there, which is really nice. But it makes changing units oh, quite uh, tricky. How do I get rid of a unit then? Resist corruption and endure hardships. The mightiest tree survives on its roots. Ooh, no, 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 no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Right, Bend. so. Do not break. Move selected retinue outside force. Select all in the same unit. Swap selected retinue. Open character details. Uh, swap unit. There we go. This is the one I want. I want to get them, please. Uh, so they will be swapped out. Because I'm swapping them, it's not quite as bad as uh, completely changing them. But it's still not great. But no, we have here, if we can capture the Silk Trader, I will happily, I will take peace um, with them. So... Faction succession, the Han Empire has moved again, so everything is going on at the moment. Faction destroyed, B, I don't have a clue who they are. Mission success, has sent an agent on an assignment, so we gained the Noble Sword of Gondu, and we gained a thousand. Uh, recruit will maintain at least 30 units. Remain honest, moving out. Marching. Lift the peasants. Population growth drives your economy, so be sure to maintain a steady growth. So I can up these. Why can't? Oh, it's because it's locked. Okay, so I need to unlock buildings to be able to start leveling these ones up as well. We can upgrade the town, um, which gives us extra reserves, extra building slots. Oh no, we've only got two, but as soon as it grows, we'll get extra building slots. Okay, um, don't necessarily want to be doing that just yet, though. Because I want to be Bring swapping some more units out. In my the mightiest tree survives on its roots. There we go. So we're buffing up our army, basically, as we're moving along here. This is quite expensive to do, but probably worth it. Getting rid of our cheapest units, at least. And we're going to push on that silk trader. And hopefully he's not seen me coming. Oh, they do have a force there, but it's not big. Uh, the Yellow Turban Rebellion has been destroyed. That, that's kind of worrying, because that means that all the other ones are... Fiery versus Enigmatic. Uh, you are taking to the air. So, we overhear a conversation. As you are take... Talk As you are taking in the air... Oh, I'm outside. <laughs> you overhear a conversation between two colleagues. Strength is the mystery. Uh, basically, we can choose, so, um, relation between Gonzu, so either way, they gain it, and, um, you do not, oh. So, basically, we can choose who we're more friendly with. Uh, let's go, we're already great friends with Zankai, so we'll grab the other one, because neither's really negative. Um. Persevere. Towards peace, ever upwards, for China! Let's hope there's nothing on the other side. Nice, we're gonna delegate that. Our victory is Things are beginning to go in our favour a bit more, guys. And now we have the whole commentary. Only by growth will the word be spread. A warrior's devotion, promote them. Was that my, um... No, it wasn't my spear captain. I was hoping it was my spear captain. That gave us another character, basically. Uh, right. Get this your over actions with. will affect your relations with other factions. There you so go. Be careful when you attack or insult others. Avoid. So we now have peace with Mateng, and we've got our whole thing. He does have a little bit of territory down there, actually. Um, but we have our commandery, which is what we wanted. And that just gives us a bit of breathing space. So who are we actually at war with? Uh, everybody. <laughs> Dong Min here, who I don't really want to be pushing that way. 
Um, so potentially I'm going to be pushing down here and poking the Han Empire a bit. Uh, let's have a look what territory is available down here. We will probably go back to War of Mateng at some point, though I didn't necessarily want to do it then. I, potentially that was foolish, because he's probably at war with somebody this else, actually. You'll need to deal with other warlords uh, and factions on a diplomatic level. Approach them and see if you can broker... So yeah, he's actually also at war with everybody surrounding him, so I shouldn't have accepted that. But it'll give us a bit of breathing space. I could take them easily, because they only hold that one position. Um, and that'll give me a way to expand down this way and stay safe, to be fair. Um, so we'll potentially look at doing that. But I do need to maintain a force here. Or I could... I could try and take advantage of... Hmm... Bring news of what occurred in my absence. It's sort of stuff to think about for next turn, however. Leveling up that silk trader will be very useful. So, um... Right, let's start looking at some of the buildings we can get. Um, what are these buildings? So, garrison, communal estates, leader's house. I want things to do with the silk trade, to be fair. Spice root, these ones. So I'm going to grab that one next because being able to up those uh, silk buildings will get me a lot of income, which will be very useful for us long run. Okay, you are still not happy. I am going to uh, use him to go exploring again. See, I could push up here, but I don't particularly want to. Gather your strength. You're going to look down here to see how powerful here is. Because I, I could, could go for Zhang An. Could try and capture the child emperor, emperor but it's a bit early to, to really do that. So, um... And Hangzhou, uh, how many regions does that have? It's only got two, and again, he holds a part of that. Um, how are we doing on our... Uh, I've not unlocked any of these. I, I need to unlock some of these as well. Um, there we go. So we are... Oh! We are healed, are we? No, we're balanced. Do we have to complete that to be healed? Yeah, we've got to complete it to be healed. And that's what we really want to do, so... For China. Uh, that'll make a ben, big difference to us. A commandery stockpiles determine how long its people can hold out during food shortages Oh, and that's siege. another silk trader. Stockpiles are created from your food production surplus. Let's march. If I can take there, that'll be useful. Um, potentially offer them peace as well. Though Why must Sometimes it is not important who you sign an agreement with. They wouldn't accept peace, only but only just. So if I take there off, then I may well be able to force peace, which would be useful because they are potentially quite powerful. Um, Let's upgrade that Silk Road Caravan, because that's going to make us more monies. Okay, things are going reasonably, guys. So, um, I'm going to have to stop this one soon, because unfortunately I do have to go out for a bit today. But of a neutral faction. Um, share the wealth. Extra public order. Extra satisfaction for my lord. Or keep it all moment I need to keep it all a bit un yellow turbany of me but okay that is ripe and open for attack for the people so another nice solid the hit there voice cannot be silenced Oh we god, I didn't just do what I did, did I? Did I? Yeah, yeah, I am upgrading. I thought I downgraded Destroy by accident. Corruption. Why must we speak? 
he will accept peace. We are in agreement. I'm happy to accept that, guys, because at the moment, I don't want too many wars. Um, so we're actually mostly at peace now. Um, I could push up against Hans Hansui, but let, let's have a look, see if I can actually... Uh... What do you want? No. But we we have managed to expand quite quickly, and we are holding peace this now. Will be um, short. I could go back to war with Mateng, but he's considered equal to me. Um, I'm not ready to do that just yet, though. Um, we're definitely going to start pushing down into here. Pushing down next. I do potentially want to keep a force up here. He is. How's this guy doing? He's actually gaining satisfaction because he has purpose now, um, I'm assuming. Uh, so that's good. So let's recruit him some more troops, potentially. Troops he's going to be my defensive line up as here. Well as missiles. Uh, but no, not just yet. I, I want to really push that income up. Um, yeah. Sprout Where is the capital? See, unfortunately, Mateng holds it and he is powerful there. That is potentially a worry for us. So we're going to move my little force into here, and we're going to move Gungdu back back around to um, to the town. Wounded during battle, or discovered yep, to be yep, enemy. Yep. I How fair the and you are going to dig in here, please. Uh, so we gained an ancillaries. Let's have a look what ancillaries we've got for some of my guys. Give him extra satisfaction and buffs up the local commandery. We've got a few of them. Bring news of what occurred in my absence. That's really good. Um, oh, can I give him a better? There we go. Give him a better uh, weapon. There. Um, what's better, silver? Ah, yeah, exceptional. I could give him the exceptional pole mace. Um, give him more resolve, better melee attack, uh, better melee damage. How yeah, many trauma? No different horses. Okay, so we're buffing him up just a little bit. Let's have a look what we can put to our other people. Um, I might do is I'm gonna recruit an extra officer here. Ooh, a scholar, a healer. Let's put a healer into his army. Healers can actually heal, and scholars are. I I, I need to double check what exactly all their options are, but they are all slightly different. Um, let's chuck some cheapy archers in here as well. How may I serve? And let us give you some shinies. Uh, you can take that. There you go. Okay, so that'll do for now. You're just going to stay dug in here just to keep an eye on everything which is going on. Obviously, I do have a war here, but I'm not so fussed by that. That's a small city. That would be very good for us to take, but I'm not looking there. Um, it's a large town. Anyway, after you conquer a settlement, you will need time to. We're not doing badly here, guys. Population to ensure long-term stability. Secure your diplomatic surroundings by signing non-aggression. I can't sign non-aggression. Death of Cao Song, or oh, the father of Cao Cao, has been killed. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, multiple things happening there. Sorry, I went quiet for a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Sprout ever upwards to heaven. Yeah, we're definitely... Oh, I'm at peace. Yes. 
because Dong Min controls the Han Empire, so I'm at peace with the Han Empire at the moment. So yeah, we're going to push down to uh, Luiziang next. I don't really want feel like going up Make and taking on Han Sui. But I could try and push that way. He is getting close to wanting peace. Um, I don't know exactly where that commandry's borders are, so... Um, Yes, yeah, so that's this area here. We just have hawks, pastures, and extra trade. I could push that way. Hmm. What do you think, Chortles? Uh, Han Sui or Zijan? Here, down here is safer. That is the one thing I would say. If I push down this way, I'm pushing into the safe areas. Where if I get battered up here, I can always... I want to build up a little bit of safety first, to be fair. Uh, nice, these guys have leveled up. Uh, that's because they've completed their assignments. Um, hmm. Let's have a quick look-see. Yeah, oh, research rate, please, because you're not actually being used at the moment. Why is it wanting me to look at him? Oh, because he's not happy. Uh... Okay, there's a way of dealing with that. I'm not going to fire him. I'll just let him leave. <clears> hmm. <throat> Home gladdens the heart. Ever upwards. Patience will renew our vigor. Little bit of time at peace. Oh, we need to get some more assignments out, don't we? Now they're done. Assignments are quite cool because they, they just constantly build you things, um, which is useful. Can I actually fire? What was his name? Guaquinyong. Which I probably butchered his name. Can I not fire officers as a yellow turban? Uh, never mind. Advancing. Is he not allied with game. anybody? No, faction is rich, very rich. They are inferior to me. Matang is equal. So yeah, we're going to push down there next. It's risky because I'm spreading my armies a bit. But I see them as being an Fort easy... Ready yourselves. Moving out. Somebody I can Marching. poke and gain territory down in safer areas of China. Though, I suspect there's a lot of Han Empire territory down there. So being friends with Dong Min might China mess me up a bit there. The path to future glories is paved with small victories. But we can deal with that as we deal with that. Can we level Your anything up? Your districts can be protected with garrisons. And you should field extra garrisons in areas vulnerable to okay, attack. Okay, okay, okay. So we've, we've managed to pull through that horrible, horrible start for start, guys. Um, uh, let's be honest, that was a horrible start. So, uh... I'm quite glad we've managed to pull through that. Um, so I can choose to be greedy or aesthetic. I'm gonna go for this. I'm, 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 I'm not greedy. So we'll go that. I don't always read those things, guys. If you want me to read everything, just shout out. By the way. We're going to keep pushing 
Obviously, we've got a full supplies for this this attack. I don't. I say I think it's all the Han Empire down here, and being uh, friendly with Han, Han Min may mean we can't do that. But getting that livestock farm will be good, and then we can push up and potentially look at uh, getting the rest of the uh, yeah pushing up into that city, and then we can uh, have another war with Ma Teng to finish him off potentially. And we are slowly pushing ourselves up the faction up here. We'll get to healed eventually. Uh, Oh, 81 extra enlightenments. That's what enlightenment is used for. So yeah, we do want things which gain us enlightenment. I don't want to be spending money on armies. I want to be leveling up my settlements as much as possible here because obviously making money is good for us. This will not happen. So leveling this one up is definitely the next thing. Um, also does give us a slightly better garrison as we do. Okay, right. I want to unlock some court positions. So, people's compassion, land of frugality, heaven's humility. Oh, rank of healed, rank of healed, rank of healed. Uh, reach the maximum local leaders. Um, so, people's compassion, land of frugality, and heaven's humility. I don't think I can get any of yet, because I have heard they are towards the end. Yeah, no, I think they're all... Yeah, they're those ones, aren't they? So, right, let's try and look through this one as well, because we've obviously gone through this one. Ideally, I want to complete this one to to uh, get myself into a better position. Uh, ooh, salt mine, jade, communal tools. So that's copper village, mining village. That's a good one. That means we can up my copper mine. Um, I can also go for this one long run, which is uh, light sword infantry. We don't have to do all the, though completing that, I think will unlock the next tier for us, which is always useful. Yeah, we know he's about to leave us. Uh. So we're going to have a little small war to the south of us. We'll see how powerful he is first, because I may look at him and go, actually decide not to. Because he may have a massive doom stack there. You never know. We are playing on hard. Doomstacks are definitely a possibility. Uh, hopefully not if the panda's with me. What I haven't done is I've not done this. The liberate stance, which uh, basically uh, gives us massive buffs, gives them massive negatives. Um, Marching. I can't see an army there. Embarking. We're being a little cheeky. We're uh, definitely sneaking Prepare into his territory. War. Oh, God damn you. Well, we're not doing this war yet. And we are going to war with Mateng. Uh, we need to get our butts war home full speed. As another power takes up arms against you, teach them justice. Remain I could hit there before. We no, we need to full pull straight back to Wudu to the town. Okay, let's move. Bring news of what occurred in my absence. All right. You need to recruit a bit more. You can get some better troops here, please. They are expensive. They have a lot of melee power, uh, but not they're not something for this force. Ooh, white wave horsemen as well, which are very nice. Um Hmm. Just throwing troops into here, guys. Oh, I could have recruited a captain. Oh, God, I can't afford to do all of that. Okay, that'll do for now. 
This is going to have to be kept. I should have been aware they were going to go to war with me again, but it gives us somewhere close to consolidate because that's a nice large town for us. Trust oh, we should be doing assignments, shouldn't we? Betraying your allies and breaking promises will affect how all other factions view you. Nice, we've completed Broken that mission. Agreements will be hard. Um, seizing the future. Uh, the scholar joins your faction and asks for an audience begging you. So we gained a scholar. Nice. 10% faction wide extra experience. He needs to be put in with somebody. Ever upwards to heaven. And we've leveled up. Um, oh, I thought. I honestly thought we had some ancillaries uh, equipped. Yeah, we're definitely equipping him. Oh, have I not been actually equipping them? Oops. <laughs> and we've leveled up. Uh, extra enlightenment, which gives us the most enlightenment. That's actually what I want at the moment. Uh, campaign movement range, own army, yes. We need that at the moment. Persevere. We're going to come this way here to try and watch him. Okay, we have an assignment we Members can do. Members of your court can be sent on assignments to benefit your faction. Examine the available assignments to see where you can improve. Helping the construction there. Serve integrity. Okay, I suspect he might be pushing this way. No, he doesn't seem to have come at me after declaring war. Remain pure. Um, Which almost worries me a bit. So, yeah. Armies are costly. And sometimes it may be wise to disband them to save money. Yes, yeah, 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 I know I'm spending lots of money on my army. I'm not daft. Toward glory. And now we would have probably been quicker going around, but I was hoping he'd be coming up. There he is. Oh, bugger. News of what occurred in my absence. Hmm. Possible. We need to zerg down and hit behind. Um. I actually want some heavier infantry. Let's see, how do we unlock these? Oh, requires faction rank healed. So actually, but each of these get enlightenment. So it's it's not a thi a thing like I thought. Never mind. Um. Their uh, glaive and bow, nice and mixed infantry style. Um, I want to get some more buildings to be fair. Uh, we don't have any of those ones, so I'm not so worried about that. Again, we don't have most of those, so. Let's go for the heavier uh, ranged. That they'll be good for us. So uh, medium crossbow infantry. Um, see a lot of these good. It's, it's working out what's best because I don't have a clue what the meta is yet. All oh, rally sympathizers. Yes. So unlocks rally sympathizers increases population growth and reduces mustering time. Okay. What is my garrison here like? We do have a garrison there as well. That's a fairly nasty force they're coming at me. But that said, I can push in behind them, so... I will lose the Silk Trader to take their town. I would That, that I think, is a fair exchange. Um, the Silk Trader will be hard to hold. Ooh, Lu Bu is now... Oh, God, I definitely don't want to be going toward them, then. Note to self, when it advises me to go the other way, go the other Get bloody me. way. Get this over with. Hmm. <laughs> 
I, I suspect we're going to lose this fight, but there's not Bring much I can do about that. Um, we are going to start battering our way through here as quickly as we can. Um, to try and hit the town. And pull him out, because he'll probably turn around when he sees us coming for the town. He's also having to move slowly due to the terrain. See, if I'd gone the other way, I'd have been on the road, so I'd have been moving much, Your treasury much faster. Is running dry. And soon you will be out of funds. Yes, I know. Expanding Go and away. developing your Towards peace. He can definitely see me now. Home gladdens the heart. Ooh, this isn't necessarily good. Oh, and there's Lubu. Oh no, that isn't Lubu, it's just his faction. Reject corruption. Your hero's aid. Uh, we gain somebody else. You've leveled up. Uh, research, please. Oh no, you've already got that one. Campaign movement range is always useful, even though I don't have him in anything. I think we've completed an assignment there, haven't we? Nope. Remain supple. Return to right, you fools! You go. I'm gonna make you regret you have that. A siege and have several strategies uh. available. Either launch an assault using siege equipment. Wait and try to starve the enemy out. So I want to build one of them and build some siege tunnels if I've got time. They are fools because now they are stuck up here. Now they are potentially going to attack here, but they are in a very tricky position because they, they are probably, you know, they're going to lose their town if they're not careful. Um, they'll only hold out for six turns. Um, now the tunnels basically just give me broken bits of walls. Hang on, let's just check what the rams do. Um, see, I assume they just break walls, so we want both, really. To arms! Oh, Matang, you fool. I say that, he could take both my silk traders back and I'd be in trouble. But we could follow along, so there we go. I thought that was going to happen. Ugh, close defeat. We've got to fight this, guys, and this will probably we be the last battle of the stream. Because unfortunately, I guys, I do need companion. to go out today and do some things. Uh, I'm not going to go into what I have to do, but it needs to be done. Uh, Let the Lord stamp in our zeal. Victory we'll shall get there. be ours. So my little force it now. Yes, they're all coming from one way, which is good. Because actually, here, these arrow towers are... Well, they used to be awesome. They've probably been potentially been nerfed a bit. But they're only coming from one place. So let's pull everybody back to start with. Basically, it's going to be a massive choke point battle here. And my archers are going to be a huge thing in here. Um, Gonna have cavalry ready to go out. You can sit here, you can come out here. Um, These guys can come out of the back if needs be. I don't want to leave everything. These guys have got good melee toughness. Actually, these guys have got better melee toughness, so they should probably be at the front there. Blades um, prepared. Attend. 
Sit in the middle just to be used as needed. You guys can obviously form over here. This is gonna be a nasty fight. Oh god, they are coming from the other way. I couldn't see them before. God damn. have out of the city so they can start playing get your butts there okay now my archers are going to play a huge part in this this cav unit's entire job is to get behind and take out their archers guys and smash into the back of their force and then we're gonna have to turn and deal with these guys Right, start moving. You want to be getting into them as soon as possible. Without, you're just going to go straight for them. My archers will start engaging shortly. Why are my archers not shooting? Fire at will. God, why were they not on fire at will already? This is where it's going to be tricky. Keep moving, get onto them, you're engaged, but if you can take out their archers, that'll really help. Hammer up into them, please. Yeah, they're breaking my calf. Oh no, they're breaking me down there. Move up to give you the bonus, that's going well. Okay, we're chasing them off, move into those ones. Again, this might be a loss, but it's not necessarily bad to lose the battle overall. Start defending my infantry, please, a bit more. I want to break their archers. You can pull out, please. Right, slam into the rear of those G militia. Oh god, they're G militia. No, we need to take them out. Okay, you guys can fight. You guys can turn and face that way, please. Definitely need more support up here. Nice. So we've held the line there. Let's get into them hard and fast. All of my ranged can turn up here. Right, you can start moving your butts down here to support. You're just going to pull through. Get your butts inside, please. The men are out of ammunition. Okay, turn it then. So some of my archers have no ammo. Let's move them up into a supporting line then. Well, we have no ammo left. You can move up around the outside, please. Let's pull you out. I don't want you to die. He's a healer, so he's not really a good idea to have that. You can pull out here, please. Um, I'm not so worried about Patong, Pang Di, with the tiny amount he's got left. Steal yourself. Mateng is the biggest issue, so if we can get him out and around the back, do I have any cav? Yes. 
These guys are still breaking, that's fine. I love how big the maps are now, if you've not noticed how massive the maps are. I'm just throwing everything into here, guys. Uh, I need to take those arch their archers out if I can. You guys are going to slam into the back there. Get Pang D down, he is on his own. He's a champion, so he's not really good against massed units. What is Mateng? Yeah, Mateng is a vanguard, so he's good in situations like this. So, uh, But taking out Pang D will really help us. Oh, straight into their archers, actually, if they're going to engage me, because they'll break easily, which will give me, hopefully, a mass route. Same with you. You can come around into the back there. God damn it. And he's down. Let's get everybody over here. Ready. Move. So everybody's just getting into this fight. Um, it's all down to whether we can hold the line here, basically, now. So we did that nicely. I held one side. We just held them here while we smashed the other side, and now we're here. So even if we lose this battle, they are very, very blooded, guys. And they will find it hard to keep it, keep advancing. The enemy unit That's is it. What Straight into their archers at the back. Um, Mateng's unit is taking losses. He's still got 27 left, so... Um, yeah, you know, we're not perfect yet. I mean, we may as well just do a control A here. No, these guys, I want to focus the archers, though. If I can burn down those archers, the more I break, the better this will be. But this is just, let's be honest, this is just a tussle now. Um, there's nothing subtle here. Do I still control the arch towers? I do. But I don't think they can actually... Yeah, they will be shooting in as well nicely. And we're beginning to break their forces. Oh. Now what I want to watch is I want to watch my generals. Because I don't actually want to lose them. So you're going to pull back and deal with them. You're going to pull back. Because losing my generals at this point would be really bad for us. So keeping them out and safe is better. Sword shopping. Oh god, come on, come on, come on, come on, that's it! We need to push that mass route. That's it! Everybody in now, get on to Mateng, do not let him live. One step closer to victory! Get Mateng! If we can, I'm going to try and chase him down. If I can take out Mateng, that is huge. Because he is uh, quite nasty. Oh, that was a hard fight. We're not going to catch him now. Nice. Now that, guys... That was a fun battle. Oh my god, we how did we win that? I mean, we won it by fighting defensively. We were in the town. Um, my garrison won me that, to be fair. Um, Justice cannot be denied. Please have captured him. Please have captured him. Ooh, we gained an auxiliary. Oh, ha, 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 ha. no. It is the people's will. Uh, recruit, please. For China. So, yeah, they, they went to war with us. We are giving them no quarter, guys. Uh, so, yeah, no quarter will be given. Um, Ma Chao is now in charge. An uncommon... Uh, dismiss them. I don't want more people at the moment. Okay. Home gladdens the heart. I return. This will not happen. How fair the people. To battle! Uh, 
just going to delegate that one. Because it will wipe out the army, guys. I'm not that fussed if I take some losses. In Our fact, I could do with taking approval. some losses. Um, and actually, that worked well. Uh, ransom them for the they cash. Only for their beliefs. Serve integrity. Right, you need to start pulling up here, actually, for now. Uh, we're still sieging here. And this, guys, is where we're going to have to leave this for today. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Please feel free to keep um, to pop any comments in the comments or jump over to my Discord if you're not watching this back live. Thank you to all those who did watch this live. Other than that, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. More will be coming out soon. I'm going to also be jumping into a different Three Kingdoms playthrough later on today, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And say hi to the panda. <laughs>